cruzado la frontera. Did you get it? No. This is all he had on him. Nathan Drake, in the flesh. Legendary treasure hunter, explorer, historian, thief. Whoa, hey, I think you have me confused with somebody else, pal. The man responsible for finding El Dorado, Corvera, and Shambhala. Oh, then yes, okay, then yeah, that's me. Yeah. yeah. Last night, an antiquities collector held a private auction in La Paz. A rare item of great value was stolen. An item my employee rightfully purchased. So imagine my surprise when I find out that Nathan Drake is in town. <laughs> Sounds like quite a coincidence. I'd say. Tell me. What exactly is this? That is a compass. Perhaps we can use it to find this fella a haircut that didn't go out in the 90s. Am I right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny guy. Huh? <laughs> oh, where is it? Look, I don't know what it is you're looking for, but I don't have it. My employer is not a man you want to cross. You've already made him quite angry. I do tend to have that effect on people. Let's try this once more, shall we? Before I violently remove something you care deeply about. So, does that mean if I care deeply about you, you'll leave? <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll see how cooperative you are after a little time with El Tigre. El who? You getting all this? Oh yeah. Loud and clear, kid. Enough plans for the house now. Let's keep those guys busy a little longer. Easy for you to say. You're not about to get your finger removed from some fella named El Tigre. Well, I'm not sure that's the body part they're thinking of removing. Oh, that's El Tigre? <laughs> Thank God. Guys, oh my. <laughs> Whew. seriously, that's you guys. You got me. You got me. I was <sighs> well presented. I was scared. Have fun. Hey there, little guy. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> oh crap.
Got it. Second floor, southeast corner. Tigre. Trusha. Algo no está bien. better. Well, it doesn't look like they're on to you yet, so just get moving. They seem pretty pissed about the bracelet. Yeah, I should have told them you have it. My face wouldn't be as sore. Keep it in nice and warm for me? Oh, yeah. Nice and toasty. Hey, not to put a damper on things, but what happens if those letters aren't there? Chloe said the intel is solid. Guy paid top dollar for him. Yeah, he paid top dollar for security, too. Okay, I'm in. Oh, Sully. You really need to check out this room. Yeah, maybe on the next door. Hurry up, will you? Those guys are gonna be on to you in a minute. Oh, here we go. Alfonso Albuquerque's letters. Ooh. This guy's not messing around. He's got original copies digging back to the conquest of Malarca. Here we go. October 1511. That's right before they sailed back to Portugal in the Florida de la Mar. Which is now sitting at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. I'm telling you, Nate. It's wild goose. Yeah, a wild goose worth two billion, the most valuable lost treasure in human history. Wait a minute. He's got a whole stack of letters from Ferdinand Magellan to Albuquerque. The earliest one is dated just a few weeks after the floor sank. So? So Magellan served under Albuquerque during the conquest, but history tells us that's the last they saw of each other. Unless. Holy shit, Sully, do you know what this means? Kid, whenever you start doing this, nobody knows what you mean. Looks like it's gonna have to wait. They found your friends. Get the hell out of there.
You know, I always find myself amazed that you two are incapable of returning these things the way you found them. Ah, we got the insurance. You did get the insurance, right? I thought you did. Right. Mm. As promised. Wow. Right. So, we're gonna break this open? I feel like we're always breaking things open. How about I hang on to that? Hey, did you see this? Well, I'll be go to hell. A triangle? Not just a triangle, it's a trinity. A trinity, oh my God, of course. When the Fleur de Lamar sank, it took 400 people down with it, but not Albuquerque. He was rescued by another ship called the Trindage. Portuguese for Trinity. Exactly. Now, history is spotty on who captained it, but there was another ship called the Trinidad, a Spanish flagship, famous for having been the first to sail around the world. Magellan. Holy shit. Magellan captained the rescue ship. Oh. Would you look at that? Could those be coordinates? It never made any sense. Why would Albuquerque, considered to be one of the most brilliant military minds in history, put his treasure on the floor de la Mar, a ship that had proven itself time and time again to be unseaworthy? What if the reason no one has found the treasure of the floor de la Mar is because the treasure was never on it? It was on the Trindage. Exactly. It never sank. And Magellan and Albuquerque both knew it. So what's this then? Our next stop. Well, I understand the weather in the Philippines is particularly fine this time of year. 